guys, it's Bob Morielli here with The Tuning School, and on today's Tech Tuesday, I'm here with Carl from Dynajet, and we're going to talk about specific design limitations of dynos and why they have top speed limits. Hey guys, it's Bob and I'm here with Carl from Dynojet and today we're talking about design limitations of dynos and also relative to the top speed limits because you know when people are shopping for dynos they usually ask, hey, why do I want a certain, uh, maybe a certain model of a dyno, you know, versus one versus the other and we usually talk about horsepower limitations but there's always a speed limitation. So why, why, is, there, why is there a speed limitation with a dyno? Well, speed limitation is the actual physical limitation the drum can handle, bearings, overall, you know, the entire piece of equipment. Uh, you know, Dynojet has a speed limit of 200 miles an hour. That's equipment, you know, equipment wide. Bike right. dynos versus uh, automotive dynos. So we have a speed limitation of 200 miles an hour because that's what we feel uh, and are confident that their equipment will never have a failure at. Okay. Um, anything above that, you never know what can happen. Look Roll at the a dice. top. Look at a top field dragster tire as an example. Yeah. Um, you know, tires they grow. grow. They grow. So when you accelerate something faster than 200 miles an hour, stress design limitations uh, become more of a factor at that point. Okay. 200 miles an hour, we recommend is safe. That's why we have, you know, long shutdowns, that type of stuff. Yeah, I've noticed you. that. Yeah, across a lot of the brands, they all absolutely red lights blinking. There's a reason why. If you put a limitation in there, they won't they won't come apart. Right. <laughs> so you're kind of covering the customer too. In that absolutely, case. it's safety. I it's mean, safety. Yeah. Most most shops that do top speed runs, you know, something out past 200 mile an hour, you're really not doing any benefit to the vehicle. Right. When will this vehicle ever accelerate past 200 mile an hour in a real no. world application? It can't. No. You're now just accelerating a mass. Right. As fast as it'll go, and now right. you might run into tire speed limitations. Right. You blow a tire out like we see on YouTube all the time. Yeah, absolutely. People running these cars up to the limitations, and they blow tires out, rip half the fender apart. Yep. Who knows what else can happen? Right. Um, but yes, we set limits at 200 mile an hour for the dyno for right. main reasons of the equipment. Right. That's what we are confident that there will not be so any it's, issues. So it's there. drum, it's bearings, it's everything kind of is everything a as a whole. Yep. And it, would a larger drum, larger bearing necessarily mean a higher top speed? Absolutely. Our older 248s had a higher speed rating. In some okay. cases, uh, if you had a 248 high speed, mm -hmm. we allowed you to go over 220 mile an hour. Right. Because it could take that NASCAR was cup teams as well. You know, uh, they needed to go faster. So our 248s were designed to go that fast. Our 224Xs are designed for 200. So 200, which is really more than, I mean, think about it. A Ford shop would never need that. A thousand horsepower car I'm would never need that. Ford guys. I don't want any more hate mail from the Ford guys. I mean, how many thousand horsepower cars you see hit yeah, 200 no. mile an hour in a yeah. dyno pole? No, you're not. A saying second it. long run, 160, 180 mile an hour maybe max. That's it. And most your poles are going to be in a fourth gear where you're absolutely 130 to 150 yep. maximum. So, well, thanks for uh, sharing your info on that with us, man. No worries. Absolutely. And uh, for more high performance tuning knowledge, be sure to check out our YouTube channel, our Facebook page. Give us a like there. And as always, stay tuned.